as it's almost Christmas, I'd have a little chat about a couple of Christmas activities that you may want to do in your classroom for the last week. Uh, and so the first one is, it's about selling Santa's house. So if you go across to the, the Zillow website, uh, and I'll share the link, and I'll share this, this uh, slide, these Google slides with you, so that you can go on there if you want to. Um, what happens is, when you've done it, it when, you've, when you go to the website, there is a, a tour that you can do. I'd love to show you, actually. I wonder if I can, can I share, can I, can I, can I share it? Can I share another, another part of the screen? Yeah, if you if you choose when you go to the share, if you choose ev the option for everything, we'll be able to see everything. Just be mindful that when you share it, we will see everything that's on your screen. Oh, your entire screen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't know if I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it won't let me share entire screen. It probably knows. <laughs> that's okay. I just so this is Santa's house. So basically, on this website, you've got a mock up. Oh no, sorry. Of course, it's real. The real Santa's house, and from here, um, you can have a virtual tour of where Santa lives. And what's brilliant about this is, of course, children are going to love it anyway. So you can go to the different, you can zoom around, have a look at the different places. Um, it looks amazing already. Those trees, the sun, uh, but you can go to the different places like the rustic cabin, the farmhouse, uh, his bamboo bungalow. Of course, you know, Father Christmas, he needs all these places for his visitors and for his elves and for people to live so you can go to the go to the different places and when you're in there you can have a you can have a good old nosy about you can have a good old look around you can even go upstairs you can go into the loft have a little look see what the bedrooms are like and while you're there you can get your children to be making notes and to writing things down so when they're doing that I'll go back to my thing. There we go. Uh, so um, I've created a couple of little sheets in there. So as you are uh, looking around Santa's house, you can get the kids to be making the, the different notes on the different areas. Um, and there are two different sheets because, of course, you know, you've got the whole of Santa's house, which is actually a video. And as you go around Santa's house, you can be making notes about what you see actually in there. Um, and it's nice to stop at different points as well and talk to the children about, you know, what, what's his kitchen like? Um, what do you think's going on here? And which and, and there are three bedrooms and you think, well, who's going to stay in this bedroom and who, who do you think lives here? And um, so it's really nice to have this tour and to get the kids uh, to, to, to write their notes. And once they've written their notes, we can then I've, I've made like a mock up of um, an estate agent advert. And so. The children and this is cows movers of course i come from cows um but it is fully editable so that you can edit it and create which whichever you want to um and you can get the kids to to write in there what's the dining room like how are we going to sell it it's using that persuasive language uh and it, it, you know it's just it's fun but actually you can get some really good work out of it i know i've done it for about the last three four years uh, and the children have really enjoyed doing it um uh, like I say, this is, and I'll give the links out, this is uh, on the, my, my old numeracy shed. On my numeracy shed, there's not just numeracy st stuff. I've got this miscellaneous part where anything else that I make, I just stick in there. So there's lots of lots of good freebies in there, and there's a lot of, uh, lot of good Christmas freebies that, that you can you can find in there. So that's that's selling Santa's house. Like I say, take yourself, take yourself away when this is all finished and you've put your name in the drawer and have a little have a little investigate and then go in next week with the kids and have a little look at it with them and I, what i like about it is it's 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 nice for any age so even if you've got the younger children you can have a tour of it and talk about what you can see and get some good language going going right up to the to the older kids who of course you know they could even build it in minecraft or something like that and the Yay. next thing i'm going to, to to share which is uh something that i've done again Every year. It's one of those things that, that comes out. Uh, my children really seem to enjoy doing it. It's um, the Home Alone Trap Challenge. So basically what happens is, and again, I've got this so I can share it. You've got this plan here. And it's we need to think of ways in which we, we can stop some imposters getting into our house. And so we always start this by watching the video of all the traps from the Home Alone films. There's a compilation on YouTube. 
and we sit and watch that and of course there's great glee and laughter as they watch all the different ways that these poor black, poor people are are, are are tortured as they try to get into kevin's house um and then, but after you've done that there is there is some educational value to this you can then sit down and say right okay you're going to make your own trap challenge now so you're going to create your own traps to try and stop the imposters the, the, the people from getting into your house so you look at the different parts of the house and each part here is is pointing to a different different part of the house and you say right okay we're in the kitchen what things do you think you could use in there to create a trap uh, to stop people getting in or you're in the bathroom what can you use in there and that, what, what you do is you get the children to to draw within the boxes their their, their traps and that just, just to stop them getting their challenges and they can just draw or they can draw and they can label um, they can write elaborate things and actually sometimes what happens is the kids get so so into it they want to carry on and say well actually before they get to the house are we going to think about some traps that we could create in the garden so they turn their paper over and they they create traps for that too so that's the home alone trap challenge that one goes down a storm every year the kids seem to love doing it it doesn't matter what year it is and of course anything that we're home alone and you can a, a excuse just to sit and watch all the traps and the way poor kevin mccallister uses his ingenuity a bit of dt going on there to stop the uh stop the villains um it's brilliant too so there are my my, my two shares um selling santa's house making a state agent advert for his house in the virtual tour and a home alone trap challenge like i say i use them every year and my colleagues seem to use them every year too and actually even though we use them every year the kids oh yeah they don't turn around and say did this last year they say we love doing that so there's my oh, two shares yay we're doing it again yay <laughs> thank you graham thank you. <laughs>